Everybody, we are at It's All Good in the Kitchen here in downtown North Andover. I'm thrilled to be joined with Lisa Savage. And Lisa, welcome this morning. I am so excited to be here. You have no idea. I'm combining two things I love, donuts and my hometown of North Andover, and this is a big day for me. It's an entire gluten-free facility. They gave us a little bit of the backstory. They had another location in Salem, New Hampshire, and have relocated here to North Andover for the last year. And I've heard nothing but good things, so I'm excited. I've heard a ton of good things. People are really excited that they're here. It's always great to try someplace new. And I am thrilled because he doesn't know this, but I'm his biggest Donut Digest fan. <laughs> I've watched all the episodes, and he is a tough critic. You know what? Let's, let's try it. I've had enough talking. I'm ready to do some eating. For me, I'm used to eating a lot of gluten-free food, so I am used to the slight you know, differences between like full fat, full wheat, all that stuff. But I gotta tell you, for the gluten-free options, this one is pretty darn good. It's a little sugary, it's a little sweet, but if you need like a really good sugary sweet treat, the glaze on this I think is a, a big, big winner. So I know you're very tough, but I'm gonna give this a solid B plus. So admittedly, I'm not a big chocolate cake glaze type of donut guy, uh, but it's excellent for what it is, but I'm gonna go with a B minus. Being somebody who eats gluten, right? A glutenite or whatever we call ourselves. I would not go out of my way to get this. However, I have family who, who is gluten free and I would go out of my way to get these for them. Donut Digest, thank you so much, Lisa, for being with us. I'm happy as can be to be here. This is a big, big happy experience for me. Thanks so much for including me. It's an honor and we will see you on the next episode.